With the Project Open and Recap Pro, understanding how to navigate through the reality capture is critical for reviewing the quality of the capture and understanding what edits might need to be made. In the Reality Capture project, there are two primary modes for visualizing the reality capture, Real View and 3D View. The data for these two types of view is collected in the photographic and laser scan portions of the capture event. If your project is presently showing 3D view data and you want to switch to Real View, choose the Real View icon at the bottom of the screen or by selecting a mirror ball in the 3D view display. A Real View display shows the photographic data that was captured. This data is from the viewpoint of the Leica BLK360 at each position the scan was taken. Looking around at the Real View data takes clicking any mouse button and dragging. To navigate through the project using the Real View display from location to location requires selecting a different mirror ball. As you look around the space, you can see other mirror balls appear in the Real View. Clicking on a different mirror ball will change your view perspective to that scanned position. To jump to a location that you can't see from your current position, expand the plan view in the upper right corner of the display. In this plan view, additional scan locations will be shown. You can adjust the view scale by using the plus and minus icons, and by clicking and dragging you can pan through the Reality Capture project to find the position that you're looking for. Once you see the mirror ball that you want, click on it to change your view position. When you open the project, if it's not displaying the 3D view, you can switch to that display mode by selecting the icon at the bottom of the screen. Because the 3D view displays the entire space of the project, navigation is far more flexible than real view. Orbiting the view of the reality capture is done with a right click and drag. It's possible to change the center point of your view with a left click on an existing point in the data. Holding the control key while you right click and drag will orbit the view based on the present camera position. This is also known as a look function. To zoom the view, roll the mouse wheel. The zoom is centered on the location of the cursor. This can give the effect of simultaneously panning while zooming. Panning is done by clicking and dragging the mouse wheel. To fly through the project, hold the shift key while clicking the right mouse button and move up and down or side to side to control the movement of the camera. Each of these options is also available from the navigation flyout near the upper left corner of the display along with the option to zoom to a window. In addition to having more flexibility in navigating the data, 3D View also has additional options for viewing the data. Hovering over the icon in the upper left that resembles a computer monitor will expand multiple menus focused on controlling the display of the data. Under each of these five menus are options for changing the appearance of the data itself, controlling the lighting of the included geometry, changing the appearance of the surrounding environment, and other options. In the first menu, the default color mode can be changed to display the variation and elevation of the scan the intensity of the laser reflection, and other view options. The second menu can adjust highlighting to help clarify the scan data. The last menu allows you to change the background color of the environment as a solid or as a gradient. All these options are designed to make it easier for you to understand the scan data that has been collected.